Hey my beautiful Aquarium musicians, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, you're my last reading for this uh, blue full moon in Pisces for the 30th of August 23. So it is for all entertainers of all kinds. You know, you could be a um, musician, an artist, a painter. You could work as a DJ, you could work in um, a music company. Take it in your situation, guys. Now... This is a very powerful time to set your long-term goals, sow your seeds for your future. This blue moon on the 30th is ultra rare and it happens every two and a half years. So it is making its presence um, something you want to pay attention to around this time. Now we had having two full moons this calendar month <coughs> excuse me, is bringing a surge of release energy. So we could be exiting something out of our lives, a person or a situation, a relationship. It could be a job that we've been doing for quite some time or something that was traumatic. You know, even our psychic energies around this time, uh, we may be carrying them, not even ours. So whatever is up for release under this special blue moon, chances are here, Aquarius, we're going to feel changed in some way, you know, we're going to be left with this void or some new space to fill in our lives. And um, it can be unsettling at first, but it does hold the promise and potential of something new to sprout. You know, from its emptiness comes something beautiful and something new. Now, the cosmic weathers shows us, however, that we will have to be extra patient for this new sprouting to begin. And there's going to be a strong wave of retrograde energies flowing. We've got six planets in retrograde, I believe. I'm not sure when Mercury is going retrograde, uh, but I know it's very soon. So we'll take a look at what the Lenormand cards have got in store for you. We've got the snake with Scorpio energy. We've got the fox, the man, and under the deck we had the tower. So the snake is indicating there could be some trouble on the job. You know, it could relate to someone in your team who might be causing problems behind your back without you knowing. Um, the fox can uh, be, you know, uh, someone that's harassing you on the job or, you know, it could be uh, representing you as a workaholic. Now, the man here is telling me you need to take charge and be strong. Or it can indicate a man's going to play a role in your music the tower is the underlying issue and it's telling me you prefer to be independent you prefer to work alone to get things done rather than in a team you have pride and you want to do this and it makes you more comfortable doing it this way now there could be some trouble in your music possibly a bad employee or female rival in your group uh it could be one of your buddies that has a mistress uh, it's been quite deceptive and it's causing issues within the band um so you know you, you can look at it in any situation trouble on the job now you know this may be telling you you may want to go alone now how to harness energies of this full blue moon and it's all about being creative um expressing yourself creatively and following your artistic endeavors the creative potential of this Super blue full moon in Pisces can be quite immense. And, you know, and being in uh, in Pisces, it can be um, dealing with people who have got depressive tendencies or you're indulging in something negative. So, you know, um, many artists, musicians, writers or creators are going to delve right into their work and they're going to come up with some masterpiece that's going to touch many hearts over the world, over the globe. Now, let's see what else we've got. We've got the crossroads, which is Libra Energy. We have the anchor and the diviner. And we've got the tree as the underlying issue here. And so, you know, the crossroads is about career choices here and decisions that we're facing the anchor can represent your career that's going to last for a long life, a long time. So, you know, you could be persistent with this and it is stable. The diviner is about you following your intuition 
and the tree is a need to be patient and wait for things to unfold you know you're in growth period at the moment so something's fallen by, by the wayside as I said earlier in the beginning uh, you know there's um something that's going to fall away and it's going to allow us to be patient now <coughs> excuse me so um you know this could be you having confidence and making a decision that brings stability in your music and you know you've got to trust that you've got instincts and you've got to trust them you know uh, feel safe with the choices that you make I do feel you'll be guided to reach your long-term goals. But this is a life-changing decision that you need to make. And it's all about being stable in your life and possibly about stable health. And you need to look into a family tree regarding your health as well. So that can affect, <coughs> excuse me, your music um, life because you need to be healthy, right, to continue music it's a lot of energy that it takes up now let's see what we're going to pull from the animal tarot and see the message that's coming through for you guys Aquarius what's coming through for our beautiful Aquarians do we have a message for our Aquarian musicians please thank you that was slid out the owl so we have a crisis that's going to allow you to look into yourself and just to make you know you're going to make it, um, an important revelation so this is the life-changing decision that you're going to make with your wisdom so if it's the person that's um, you know cheating on their partner and it's bringing problems in the band this is you making that life-changing decision to go forward so we're going to pull a card from the goddesses, gods and guardians, oracle cards and see what comes out for you, Aquarius. Very beautiful musicians. Yeah, very intense time. So make sure, you know, you set your goals, you sow your seeds for the future, but don't get caught up in the negative or depressive tendencies of others. Um, it's not your energy and it's not your problem. You do not have to deal with it in your music. Okay, so we've got... Hakati that's come out. This is our past life healing. Okay. Uh, you've got another card that's fallen too. It was Apollo, the divine messages that are coming through. Give me one second and I will see how this relates to a per, uh, situation that I've already read for you in the Lenormand cards or might be uh, just extra messages that have come out for you guys. So... Hakadi, we'll start with Hakadi first. Now, just move that along a little bit. Now, when the Queen of the Witches shows up, it's highly significant. You're ready to confront, work through, and permanently heal age-old soul, soul trauma arising from the historic persecution of feminine healers of any gender. So you're definitely amongst that in a past incarnation. You've previously lived through events such as the witch hunts of the European Middle Ages and it's left painful scars. Now you have wondrous spiritual gifts to share with the world, yet they've been buried under rocks of fear. You carry past life memories of being banished for your goddess-centered role as the wise one, witch, shaman, healer or midwife. The old fear is very controlling, convincing you to remain silent and suppressed in this life. But it's time to dissolve the chains, untie the ropes, acknowledge the wounds and unblock the throat chakra. Okay, so you can see here there's a blockage here in the throat chakra. You've got to speak your truth. Remembering the lifetimes in which you were persecuted for your spiritual power can be painful. But this is a healing process. Past life, which is the tower... Uh, where are we? Past life regression, breath work, therapy and intuitive sessions can all help. Every step you take to speak your truth and reveal your wisdom, the more inner freedom you'll experience. It is safe to express your real voice. And you can possibly do this through your music. 
as I said, a creative expression. And your divine feminine energy is stronger than you fear. Now, the additional meanings can be your throat chakra needs support to clear and heal. You need to learn about Wicca or rituals uh, to awaken your inner witch or wise one. Or you could be in a liminal phase of um, a process or the crossroads. Be patient. New, new path is soon to be revealed. As I said, you're facing a decision, a life-changing decision. Okay. Now, consult with a female female elder or person who embodies Katie's wisdom. Okay. She's an old wise person. Feminine, creative and emotional energies is what I'm feeling. And there is an invocation here for you. Hey, Katie, I pour all my fears of being visible into your cauldron of light. It's safe to speak my and reveal my truth. Okay, so that's beautiful. Now I'll find Apollo's message, which is a divine message, which ties in with this card, with the diviner. So this is very um, beautiful reading. Now wake up. The divine realms are communicating with you, sweeping in upon shining chariot. Apollo comes to you and illuminates the stream of heavenly messages that are being sent your way. Blonde curls gleaming in the sun. Apollo sits down next to you and starts to play rapturous music on his lyre, which is this. A wondrous intuitive language is being spoken through signs and synchronicity, he says. Spiritual guides commonly and send symbols like feathers and rainbows to remind you of their, their presence. So pay attention to word phrases, overheard conversations, songs, lyrics, music, colours, images, symbols and number patterns that you experience repeatedly. You may have a sense of heightened awareness or a sudden stillness as a sign is delivered. Divine messages will always be kind, loving, encouraging and positive. They don't tell you to do anything. Rather, they nudge you in the right direction of your highest good, reinforcing your inner knowing. If you don't understand a divine message, ask yourself, if I really knew, what would this sign mean? Interpret it kindly and trust yourself. It's not going to steer you wrong, guys. Okay, you've got the uh, dolphin there. Uh, you've got, I think it's a wolf. And a hawk, I think, is there. But anyway, the additional messages, which may tie in with this reading, is make a sign journal, record your divine messages, and notice recurring themes. You may have had significant past life experience at the Delphic Oracle. You may want to Google that, see what that is. You'll soon receive a valuable Oracle card re uh, reading or intuitive session follow a career path in music so that's what you're actually doing now your invocation is apollo help me interpret the language of spirit so it is a very spiritual um reading here uh speaking your truth you hold the power in your hand and uh you've got all i think they're black hawks here and it's come up in this card too um there's a lot of wisdom here you know, you've got to be more playful and don't be the wolf in uh, sheep's clothing um, is what I'm picking up for some reason. And um, I'm sending you love your way. Best wishes in your music, guys. And I hope this resonates with whoever it's meant to. Love to you all. Bye for now.